Hello and hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another mini update episode. Alright, so this week I've been keep it going with the Stormcasts. Because uh, we have a little. I don't know, should we call it a. Not really a tournament. Uh, a sort of event, I guess we could call it. At my local game store. Where we are gonna play with armies of 750 points in Age of Sigmar. We are not gonna use any enhancements and sub factions. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. So that's the reason why I've been painting my Stormcast Eternals. Because I really want to get that army going here. And uh, at least get as much color on them as possible. Uh, we do not have a need to be painted army rule. But it's always nice if they have some color, make it look better on the table. At least in my opinion. I mean, if someone come with models that I bought like a week ago and only have been able to glue them together, I wouldn't mind as long as we're having fun. That's the whole point, right? So, yeah. What have I been doing? Well, been uh, putting some paint on some of these uh, vindicators that I still had that wasn't truly painted. These are my old ones. I think I showed those in the last episode. Those are some of the first that I ever painted. This one was uh, a little bit painted, so I kind of threw on some color there. Uh, let's see, guess I could switch to the second camera. Yeah, so I've mostly been doing the gold and the metallic red on here. And I think it looks kinda nice though, fits in with the, the rest. Uh, there are still some gold pieces that still need to be done, especially on the shoulder here. I usually do the top end of the shoulder and uh, the face of Sigma. Usually do those in gold. And same with the, the abs usually make those gold as well, so still some gold trimming that needs to be done on that one. Then I had a second one. This one was actually planned to be a slap shop method at first. And um, I really like the uh, red I got going here. So what I do is just I take some uh, retributor armor golden color and slap it all over and then I take like um, speed paint or I mean you could do contrast paint and put that on top of the gold and it looks so good at least for the red I guess some if you want to get like a darker color then I guess some kind of silver would probably look good on there Dark color, colder color, like blue or I guess green, perhaps. Depends kind of on what kind of green you want, though. All right, and uh, the vigilors I haven't done much with since last time, so they must have their red capes. Still need to get some uh, more color on them. Get the black armor, and preferably a bit of the gold. And then we have other guys that I really have been <laughs> busy with. And it is my. Um oh man, running low on battery here. Uh, guess we could just switch cameras though. Yeah, so the. Uh I 
Man, why did I forget the name now? It's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I forget the name of these guys. Well, they're mostly just uh, infantry units. Uh, turn off the second camp. Since it's low battery, I should have charged it, I know. But yeah. As I said, I did more or less the same thing here. You can see, got that nice red metallic. And it's the same one. The same kind of method as I talked about before. I just slapped on that gold and took some red speed paint on there. Looks pretty darn good. And on here you can see that I have some gold on the abs. And also the gold trimmings. Right, and um, uh, the video lores I haven't done much with. The Griffon though, uh, the lighten up the, uh, I guess I should say spine, by using a little bit of uh, bone color from Vallejo. The bone white. And mixed it with the uh, turquoise that I had, which I've uh, been using game color there as well. So it's just turquoise. A really nice color, though. I really like it. And then I just slapped on some uh, speed paint magic blue to darken up the mane. <laughs> and I kind of dig it. Still a few details to do on it, like the color, the uh, head plate, the beak, eyes, stuff like that. And of course the rock can do in the... The ground. Alright! Yeah, and I mean, all of these are more or less the same. All of them have swords. And uh, this one I haven't done anything with, because that is one with a great blade. And I've started doing some non-metallic metal on this one a while ago. And I kind of want to keep doing that, because he's special. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and my annihilators were already done, so they haven't been touched. More or less the same with the Vanquishers. The Lord Imperitant, however, I have actually gone into something in the face. Maybe I have enough battery to show that at least. Let's see. Well, got signal. Yeah, so there we go. Got the face painted on him, and also done like some of the bone white on here. Because I kind of want to get that sort of feeling on there. So, yeah. I felt like I needed to use the other camera for this, so... Probably a good idea to save a little bit of battery on that in case I want to do something like that. I will charge it until next episode, though. So, yeah, and I also put it on uh, some of the rope that is around here because I want to use some speed paint to get that to look good. Probably gonna use something like hardened leather because that is a really nice color. And for stuff like this uh, banner to make it look like old paper, I usually take a thinned out version of Palibone. I 
something like that looks pretty nice. So yeah, I still need to put on some more of this color though, because it's pretty uneven at this point. It was just a thin coat. But yeah, he's starting to look pretty nice though. Yeah, so keep on working with, with my storm casts. <laughs> That's pretty much what I gotta get done now. But, I'm not gonna lie, I actually enjoy doing a completed army like this, cause... It kinda forced me to do it too, so... I like it. Well, forces me. I forced me, cause... As I said, it's not a requirement. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end off this episode here. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in next week's episode. Until then, bye bye.